welcome back happy eb to sunday so today we are going to do part two of my juicy purse collection um we left off doing this show so that's why i'm already over here i was like well, let me just get to where we're gonna be so i don't anticipate this one to be so long although y'all know i like to talk so just grab a snack grab a drink just just in case I got my drink. I am finishing up my Dr. Pepper. I just am drinking it in this cute little bow glass. We just finished eating dinner. It's early. It's like four something, but um, the Bears have another late game. They just started and my husband wanted pizza and we ate it already, but I hope he's not loud. He's in the bedroom laying on the bed. So I was like, really? Two Sundays in a row? thanks bears so we'll see how that goes but yeah so we just ate dinner trying to finish my pop wallets code because i didn't put no ice in it so yeah if y'all are new here then hi i'm evita i like to film all things pink girly sparkly blingy i like hello kitty y2k juicy couture all the vibes and if that's something you're into too then you should consider subscribing and welcome back to all my girlies so i'm gonna sit this down and i'm just gonna put it right here on my packs in case i start choking because y'all know how i get um like i said we finished this part so we're over here this first one right here is actually a victoria's secret bag so i'm gonna put that one down this is by the way if you guys watched my last haul and i told you guys that I was absolutely in love with this bag. That's why I ordered it in that caramel color and uh, the black and then the burgundy. Because I had ordered this one and I just love the quality so much. It feels so good. And it's pink inside. So anyway, this is not a Victoria's Secret video. So stay focused. Alright, the first one that's over here is this little denim and white Juicy Couture barrel bag this is what it looks like and i have not used this one i was on the fence about it but then i was like you know what i don't have any denim bags and i might need her for an outfit so i was like i have to keep her um this one is called the queen of everything mini barrel in the color denim logo and retail price of $79. This was at Marshall's for $24.99. I think that's kind of pricey. Um, but this one actually has silver. And it does have a silver bling zipper pull, which is kind of cool. And these straps do come off, which is also very cool. Um, so you can wear it as a crossbody or you can wear it with the handles. And this is a nice size handle for a handle bag. A handbag strap or whatever uh the strap has this like juicy couture is like in this like jelly font so that is bag one um the next two bags that are tucked back here are um actually both mk bags michael kors so i'm just gonna tuck those back in there just want to try to see there's nothing else juicy there um Going down to the next shelf, I have another barrel bag. This one is this beautiful pink. So, I don't think this is dusty or powder. Um, nope, it's pink clay. I knew it was different. Um, so, this is the Best Sellers Mini Barrel in Pink Clay. And I have not used her yet. Um, she just has the little juicy logo there and she has just a regular little old boring zipper pull that says juicy couture. They didn't even put a hard cut out on that one, but yeah, this one, um, I almost returned because I have one similar, which I'll show you guys next. And I was like, do I need both of these? Um, but I ended up keeping it. So this is the next one that I thought was very similar. I actually found this, and I think this is powder. 
Yeah, this is powder blush. And I actually found it in like the hot pink color. And I did sell the hot pink one. Because, I don't know, it wasn't giving. So, I kept her. She just has like these different color Juicy Couture. Um, well, it just says Juicy. Different color logos on it. Like this one up here is so light that you can barely see it. Then another shade of pink. And then it goes. So, it's like an ombre logo. And she also has just a boring gold little zipper pull. This one's the Best Sellers Mini Barrel in powder blush so they're both called the best sellers and i just thought they were very similar so i was like do i need them both and i don't know i didn't know like i kind of don't like the ombre honestly but i like the shade of pink but i don't hate pink clay i like pink clay too so i don't know i felt like uh, i just keep them both um then I have this uh, LV one here. So the next one is one of my angel bags. And this is what she looks like. And she has gold hardware. This is another one. The best sellers in mini bureau in angel. This one I found at Burlington for $17.99 and she just has like the like embossed like logo and again I'm obsessed with that color angel because it's like it's not like super bright white it's like a nice bone colored cream shade that I just feel like it matches a lot of things so I really like angel we kept her definitely kept her by the way you guys i have decided i am gonna switch on my shelves i am going to end up turning the bags on this shelf uh like this because i am almost out of space and i was looking over here and i was like i do like the way they're all like organized and in my little barrels so i was thinking i'm going to do this shelf exactly like this i'm gonna take the boxes down put all the big bags at the bottom and then put these small ones plus these three barrels up there and then i'm gonna use this for my new victoria's secret stuff that i just bought because i do want to keep those out because i i know i'm gonna reach for those a lot because like i said i bought those specifically for work and um i don't want to tuck them away in my closet or in a drawer and then every week when i get ready change out not every week you either because i've been changing my purse every day girl i've been on it but yeah i don't want to have to struggle to to get to the bags so i'm just trying to make my life easier um again that's the whole point of me having this space is to display the things that i use and love so i am gonna be uh, doing those changes soon. Alright. I know those changes weren't like that. But. Um, I think that's it. For Juicy. On this side. The next shelf has. Coach. LV and Dior. And then I have. A Victoria's Secret bag hanging. So I'm going to switch you guys around so we can move over to my packs now so hopefully you guys can still see pretty good um as you can see the next two bags are these right here and then i'm probably going to reposition you guys so that we can get to the very very top um so and i have bags inside of bags of course so the first one over here is one of the like super sought after viral bags that your girl didn't even find my bestie erica found this one and that one literally both of them and she kept the pink for herself and gave me the white one which is angel and um then she changed her mind on this one and she let me have it i was so happy i was like oh my gosh because when she sent the initial picture with both of them i was like 
did she find two of each? Am I getting both? And she's like, I'm keeping the pink one. But I was like, okay. I was so grateful to have that one. And when she told me this one didn't work out for her. Because she wanted to use it as a work bag. And I don't know why me and her have different size laptops. We work for the same place, by the way. And her laptop is like from 1925 or something. Because it's ginormous. But anyway. So this bag is the tag's not on here. Because she said she removed it. Um... I think my white one has it, so I'll tell you guys the name in a second. Actually, let's just pull that one down first. Um, and ignore the hardware. I, I was just playing around with this, and I thought that the little blinged out um, pearl bow looked really cute on there, and I never took it down because I was lazy. Um, Y'all, she also sent me a TikTok of a girl who took this black strap out or a brown strap, and she relaced it with pink ribbon. Like, beautiful, girly, feminine, silky, gorgeous pink ribbon. And I'm terrified to try and do it. But I want mine like that. And I'm like, girl, I'll send you my bag. Do mine for me. I'll pay you. But that girl did really, really good. Um, But I want mine like that, too. I ain't trying to go. Okay, so this one. And you guys, I feel bad showing these because everyone's like, I want that bag. I don't have it. I hope that they release these again for the holidays so that all all you guys who want this can get your hands on it because I feel bad everyone's like, you got those and I didn't even work hard for them. Um, So this is called the Vintage Dreams Tote and it's in the shade Angel and Chocolate and that's why I was like, I ain't mad at it, that's Angel. Um, these were $34.99. She found them at a TJ Maxx. Not sure if Marshall's got them or Burlington. She found them at TJ Maxx. They come with this little, um, hard thing and this little crown on the keychain. That's cute little detail. And they are super soft. It has the light pink embroidery that says juicy and... The bottom is the dark color, thankfully, and they have feet on there. Love that it's gold. Um, these are the straps. They're like a thick strap, and then where you hold it, it's like smaller, if that makes sense. It's like cinched in. <clears throat> and it snaps close like that. And the inside is huge huge sorry guys i'm about to start with my whole coffin fiasco so my husband bought me a light you guys and it is so bright and i love it but it keeps falling it's probably gonna fall while we're filming so don't be scared if something falls but look at that and it's like a on and off switch isn't that cool because look at this puck light hold on I'm going to turn this one off and watch this. What is that? Like, I still can't see. So, I have to figure out how to take this off without ruining this. Um, because I only want this on from now on. But this is like battery operated and it's probably going to die fast. But I'll put it on for right now while we're doing this part. Uh, so yeah, so that's her, and I do have her stuff. There's no juicy bags in here. I have like um SL Miss Glam makeup cases in here, um, because I wanted to like keep it a little bit um stuffed, but I like to stuff my bags with more stuff instead of stuffing because I have a lot of stuff. Okay, so yeah, so she is stuff and like i said again this is called the vintage dreams totes and y'all they are going for like 200 on um the websites on like posh and mercari so then we have another vintage dreams tote this one is in the dusty blush and the chocolate same exact thing and they both, I'm sorry, didn't say, but they both come with this brown bow on the side. I just added that, like, pearl on the outside because I wanted to see how it looked. But, yeah. Now, on the inside of this one, I do have a juicy bag. So, let me pull her out. So, 
So I have this one tucked inside. Um, I almost sold this. And then if you guys remember on my last video, I showed y'all this um, little mini one that I found for my mini me. And I was like, no, I cannot sell it now. I have to keep it. Even though hers has bedazzles and hers is in dusty blush, mine's is in pink diamond. It's almost the same shade of pink, but I have these like gold studs. I don't have the bling. That's why I almost sold it because I like the bling. The studs just, they don't, they don't give as much. So that's what it looks like with the so but i'm keeping her now because me and her are gonna be twinning with that um but yeah i literally almost sold this and i i did list because i was um on the fence about two this is i only had this style in this pink diamond and then in the uh like corally color that's called pink lemonade I have that one also, and I ended up putting that one on Posh. And everyone wants, they keep liking it. They want a discount, and I think I only have it for 45 on there. And I'm like, the bag is 30 and I have to pay for shipping. So I think 45 is reasonable. So I didn't post it for like 80 or 90 you know, or 100 But anyway, so um, I this is what the inside of this one looks like. Like I said, I was on the fence about this style because I was just like, eh, because I I don't wear too many bags by the hand like this. And then this strap, I just felt like, yeah, I, I actually do like this strap, the colors that are in it. Like it's Juicy Couture, it has a pink card here and then it has like the pink outline on the top and the bottom. I, I hope you guys can see. I'm trying not to drop all this stuff on my island, but um they do detach which is nice but if i wear it as a crossbody i just feel like this is a weird shape to be sitting at my side like this like i don't know i i just think it's too bulky to be a crossbody so i feel like it has to be but it could be a shoulder bag i would i would probably wear this as a shoulder bag for sure but yeah long story short i'm keeping it because me and her are gonna match but I did post the other one. Oh, there's a wallet in here, and I didn't even remember. Because I think uh, Erica found this one for me, too. And, y'all, my nail, my nail just got stuck. Okay, it's off now. My nail literally got stuck in the chain. I'm going to toss this over there so I can put it over there on my purse rack. By the way, since the last video, because y'all know I did the little purse rack over there. I bought a new purse and it's on the purse rack so we do have to go over there so I can show you guys that bag. Let's try and get this back in here though. Alright, she's back in and like I said this is my easy way to stuff my bags. I just Instead of tissue, I stuff them with stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab these two down because they're still on that shelf. So this bag, you guys will remember, I was using this forever for a um, work bag. And I finally switched it because I actually bought a work bag um, that's like a brownish color. And it's a little bit larger, like wider. Because this one, my laptop is like just about the same exact size. And it was kind of tight, like my dongle was hanging out the side, you know, the like USB dongle was sticking out and I was scared I was going to ruin it. So I finally switched out of this one. I don't know if I kept the tag, but this is the cafe and powder blush color. I did. Um, it just says cafe fashionista tote. And I think I got these. I know I got them both at Burlington. I think they were $34.99. They weren't cheap. And I'm saying they because I'll show you the other one in a second. I bought two at the same time. Oh my girl, hold on. I got all 
that's a lot. I need these. I got all my eyeglass wipes in here. I need those in my purse station drawer. So I have so I have this cafe wallet in here because I was like in case I need it. Like if I was gonna have a day that I didn't take my purse to work, I was gonna just obviously throw my wallet in there because you know you still gotta have your driver's license to go to work so I was just gonna like take my matching wallet and I have this wallet I had two of them so I was like I'm gonna stick this one in this bag so just left it in here and I think I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see an accessories like the jewelry collection but I was like I can make like accessories like um slgs and jewelry maybe into another video so y'all gotta let me know but i freaking love this bag i love the shape oh i didn't know the bottom was pink but maybe i did and forgot okay so again stuff my bags with bags so i have not used her i found her at the same time as um that one this is in powder blush and it's also the fashionista tote and i got anything back here no oh here's the price they weren't 34.99 they were 27.99 i was close i knew they weren't 19.99 because i remember when i bought them i was like oh that's a lot but i want them both i do like though that when they're not in use they kind of fold up like flat like I could just like cinch this so that's kind of cool but they're good quality I like I like them and they hold a lot so if you don't have like a huge laptop and you have like your iPad or something this is a nice little uh, shoulder bag to rock I know you guys can't see that but it it fits really good on the shoulders you can throw your laptop in here you can use it for school throw a notebook your laptop lots of space for a makeup bag and all that stuff in here as well so those are my um lvs up there and then my victoria's secret tote i actually had used this as a work bag recently too so what is in here hold on oh this is the accessories that came with the actual work bag that i'm using that bag i got off of amazon and it came with a wallet it came with so much but i wasn't uh using it so i stuck them in here too okay i was going to stuff both of those bags because this victoria's secret one is big i was going to stuff the cafe and the brown one the pink one in here but i ended up just putting the brown one on top so i kind of use this for like my larger bags up there um and these lv bags that i have they're like real leather so they're really heavy those will work good as uh, work bags too but my laptop is really heavy so when I put my laptop in those those bags they hurt my shoulders so bad so I don't really like to use it as a work bag even though they're kind of perfect for that all right so now that we are done over there I'm going to get my step stool because I can't reach the very top. Um, and you guys, I don't know where else to put these because they're so big. And I love displaying um, them because they're like pretty. Uh, so I just like put them in front of those. And I don't use those big bags that much unless I'm switching out my work bag. So I don't mind that they're right here. Let me show you these two since we're over here. Um, I was messing with this today. So I had this one up there. I had um, this bag displayed up there. And I did some changes over there. I think I'm going to do an updated room tour for you guys very soon. Because I was messing around up there and i really like the way it came out um but anyway i took this down 
And I was like, why have I not worn her? This is giving me winter queen, winter princess, frozen queen vibes. Like, I feel like this is going to be a good winter bag. So I'm definitely going to use this. And it matches the, like, iridescent, like, Starbucks tumbler. And I'm like, ooh, I can do, like, a, like, a, I'm a snow queen or something. I'm definitely going to use this for winter. Like, it's giving winter vibes for me. I think it's, like, the holographic color. But anyway, I found this backpack a long time ago. And I have not wore it. And I don't see a lot of people talk about this print or owning this print. And I don't know why. Because it's gorgeous. Like I've debated so many times getting rid of it. And every time I'm like, nope. I love that it has this pink bow here. Clearly love that. And then this looks like it's a part of it. But it's actually a like a, a wallet that came with it that comes out of this. And you got this huge pocket here. But I like the way... It's like a peekaboo, so it adds more pink to it. That's really cute. Um, and I went on a hunt trying to find every accessory I could. So the side of it is like patent leather, and it has like the Juicy Couture, um, like gothic print logo everywhere. Then over here, of course, it's this like holographic with all these different colors of Juicy Couture. And it's gold, and the inside has a pocket on the the front flap and then i i ended up finding this long wallet it's like a a long slim wallet this reminds me of like the little pochette that comes with the lv bags like long and skinny and it has the juicy emblem and i like that they added this little pink detail on the corners so this is cute like to put like little receipts or something in um, it does have pockets on, on the inside and it actually has slots where you can like put credit cards in here. So this was super cute. So this was the first accessory thing that I have found for her. And then I didn't give up and I actually, uh, found the same stuff for Janine. Me and Janine are twinning with this pattern. Um, then I found this. Look at how cute this one is. It has the little bow detail on it that was so freaking cute do i even have the tag name for this i forgot to open the pockets for that i don't i don't have a tag what well it's called the pink hollow logo and in a backpack so this wallet says pink hollow logo peekaboo flap and then this is the one that I like, the style that I like that just opens. And you have card holders here. There's a zipper for change, but then there's pockets underneath both sides and another pocket. I really like this style when they do that. And then my favorite thing is I found the heart shape. I love finding the heart shape wallets. The heart shapes just give me so much joy. And look at how cute with that chain detail that they did in the front. That is cute. And then the little pink on the side. Gorgeous. And I love the pink along the edges. And it has a pink strap if you just wanted to take this out for the day with your keys or whatever. Um, this little thing is called the Pink Hollow Logo Lux Links Hard Wristlet. That was a mouth, mouthful. But yeah, I'm definitely going to use this this winter. I'm surprised I haven't. I literally, when I was cleaning, like I said, I even, like, walked around. I had her on, and I was like, oh, this is so cute. So, yeah. Like, with my pink Uggs. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be cute. So, anyway. That's one. And then... I don't remember if in part one I already had showed this. But I'll show you guys again, just in case. But this is the... Queen of Everything backpack in Cafe and Powder Blush. This was from TJ Maxx for $29.99. And it's that gorgeous velour. And it's Cafe with the powder blush. It matches the other pieces I have. Like five other pieces. And it comes with this little coin pouch. And this is all pink. So the back is like a leathery material, not velour. 
and the straps are like this nylon material super cute and it has the bling zipper which anytime i see a bling zipper i get so excited all right all right guys so now i'm on my step stool and i got y'all like kind of pointed up so i hope you guys can see Ooh, I don't think I could reach in the back still. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is not a juicy bag. This is a little, I don't know, she's super cute and bedazzly. And like I said, I like blingy and sparkly. So, uh, all right. So this one is the flashback. SM, I'm not sure what SM is, small backpack. And it's this black with Sherpa. You guys, I literally love this bag so much. Don't ask me why I have not used her. Um, like I literally am obsessed with this. But <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think it's because it's up there and I'm too lazy to ever take it down. Um, it has all the Sherpa all around. Like, again, this is going to be a good winter bag. I think I've had it for three winters now, and I haven't wore it. But I'm hoping this winter is going to be the winter that I use it. But it has this front pocket that's also lined with the Sherpa. The letters are Sherpa. It's just, it's beautiful. The black is leather. Or faux leather, whatever it is. Um, I didn't know there was a bag in there. There's a Sherpa. A Steve Madden little bag in here because I tuck bags inside a bag. So this was a little mini um, Steve Madden Sherpa bag that I had found. And I ain't gonna lie. I think there's a bag inside of that. But I don't think it's juicy. But let me just double check. There, <laughs> there really is a bag inside of that. So there's this little Bath and Body Works Sherpa like faux little thing y'all i'm crazy i'm telling you um i've been putting stuff inside of each other but i thought this was a cute little makeup bag to go inside of your sherpa bag you know don't be sleeping on victoria's secrets little i mean bath and body works little bags they always come out with the cutest little pouches and i i think you guys that you know how i showed the gingerbread pocket bag and the car thing i think there's a bag with that and i hope i can get one sorry i'm trying to zip this up because i told y'all i'd be tripping if i don't put my stuff back um but yeah this is gorgeous um i also have one of these listed brand new with tags on my poshmark if one of you guys are interested but yeah i have or is it the bag and not the backpack? I don't know. I think it's the backpack. Because I have the matching speedy, which I don't think I'm going to reach, you guys. I honestly don't think I'm going to reach. I tried to position that so that it says juicy through the hoops. Yeah, I don't know. Just imagine it's this bag. You see, it's just like that. It's just like this. It's a speedy, but it has Sherpa all the side and all the side. Because I'm not getting that down. I'm not getting that down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but this is the next one. So, you guys, I don't know if you remember, but I literally found this bag. It's right here. I'll just show you. Oh, I found this bag so this one's velour this one's leopard and i was like do i need them both because i like the velour one better but i was like you know sometimes maybe i don't want to wear velour and i have an outfit maybe i'm wearing like leather boots or something i don't know so yeah i ended up keeping them both but they're literally like kind of identical right just velour and leather they have the blingy although i think the letters bling more on the velour maybe it's because of the the texture it makes it look different but this is called the b classic 
satchel in black. Y'all, if this step still breaks, I'm going to be dead and mortified. Because this is Aria's little step stool. And I don't know if it's supposed to hold 165 pounds. Um, not me looking for the tag when I just read it. There's nothing inside. I just read the tag. Um, but there's nothing to this. It's just a little satchel. And y'all, don't let me confuse y'all when I be calling my little juicy speedies. Because I will forever think this is a little speedy because it reminds me of the LD speedy bag so but they're called satchels and I like my bags on display up there that were blingy so I try to tuck the tags in the back so you can't see them oh I think I should have got the regular step stool the one that is meant for adult people try not to drop stuff so this is the next one it literally is just like the black one but it's in dusty blush this one i actually used wow i'm over here surprised at myself <laughs> hey hold on i got some tiffany bags tucked in here but i'm missing a pair of tiffany earrings so let me double check those before i put those back in here um, this is called the Dusty Blush B Classic Satchel. I knew this was dusty. I know my pinks, but yeah, with the bling. And again, I found her in a satchel, but she's powder blush and she's velour. So I technically feel like I have this bag again. Actually, actually, I found her. Oh. That's a different shade. I think there's like a, a different, um, I think there's a different pink that I have her in too. You guys, I have these like Tiffany studs and I can't find them anywhere. They were really beat up and dirty and I was going to clean them. And when I went to go look for them to clean them, I can't find them. And sometimes I move stuff. And I can't remember where I put it. But they're not in here. I'm so scared to get off of this. I think it's going to break. Okay. Um. So what I was saying. Is it up there? I don't know. But I remember they came out with this bag. Oh that's what happened. They came out with this bag. In powder blush. But I didn't get it before they came out with the velour. They had changed this dusty to powder. And I didn't find... No. I did find it and I sold it because it didn't have bling. It had gold studs. That's what happened. And I got rid of her. And then I found the velour one with the bling. So yeah. I have found this with gold studs. And I didn't like the gold studs. So we got rid of it. Okay. By the way, guys, Aria wanted to pop in and say hi, but I didn't let her. I know, bad mom. Mean mom. But she's in her pajamas. And I know y'all have seen her in her pajamas, but she's wearing a little nighty dress. So, uh, no. My baby's not going on the internet like that. Unless she wants to put some clothes on. Okay. All right. We're going to go over. I only have one more bag, but I can't reach it. Okay. So, I have this. Um, Erica found these for me, my bestie. And she found these at... TJ Maxx for $7.99 and it's this little gold crown and I I think or she said she thinks they're candle holders they don't say they say handcrafted in India but we think it's a candle holder but it gives me juicy vibes because of the crown so I kind of like just set it up here with the juicy bags 
but this is the bag that Aria um took hers her mini I had me and her mini up there together and she wanted it the other day so she has hers but I found this when we were at the cabin in Tennessee in a box set so I don't know if I have an individual tag or if it was a box thing, but let me look. Oh, there is a tag in here. So this was the Chestnut chestnut Chino Mommy and Me Speedy Set. Look at them even calling it a Speedy Set. When I get closer, like, I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, so... It does have a big strap, but I have it um, tucked inside of the bag. So, this one's smaller. It's like slimmer and smaller than the other two satchels I showed you. Like, it's a cute little size. And I think this is like a nice fall bag because Dusty Blush is like that warm pink for fall time. And the pink with the brown, it's giving fall for sure. So, cute fall bag. I don't know if that strap is going to stay, but I did have this little Hello Kitty Pusheen tucked up there with it because I'm one of those like people who things have to like flow and there was a gap and I didn't like it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it back. I don't know. It's not perfect, but it's okay. I think I had that. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix this now because Aria took her bag. And the whole thing is all messed up now. Alright. We're moving on, guys. Okay, guys. So, I went in my closet. And I got a handful. And I'm going to do another trip. Because... It's high in my closet. It's small. I can't move around. So it only makes sense for me to grab them. So we're going to do a sit down portion. Are these in the way they are? I'm going to move that. I noticed when I was playing back some of my other videos. I was like, man, I had the whole bouquet in my face. I was like, I hope I wasn't distracting. Also, ignore the stuff behind me. Gosh, I have a Halloween cup. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> the first bag is this moon shape. Um, I showed you guys this bag on the back of my door. I have this one in the hot pink. I forgot what that one was called. I have it in the powder blush and the dusty blush. So, I have three shades of pink. And then I have this black one. Y'all, there's a sandstone. And I was talking to one of you guys about it in the comments. Uh, you said that... You bought your first juicy bag because of me and it was in the moon shape and you found the sandstone. That's literally the one that I still want. And I don't know if they made this an angel, but if I find that I wanted to, I did see that they have this new metallic pink, but it looks like, um, like, a not a trash bag, but it's kind of giving, um, aluminum foil, but in metallic pink vibes. It, it's not really cute, basically. But I was like, are they coming out with new colors of this? Because I'm down for it. Anyway, this bag does come with a thicker strap. Um, and I cut it. As I mentioned before, a lot of people were cutting their straps. And I was like, what's wrong with them? Like, I like the thick strap. And I wore mine with a thick strap. And then I was like, I could see it. I could see it. So I cut. The black one was the first one that I cut. And then I was like... Yeah, I'm going to cut all of them. So, like, as soon as I got the powder blush, I was like, shink, shink, shink. No thoughts about it. And these bags come with little um, coin pouches attached to that strap that you cut off. Um, so, this is called the Juicy Puff Half Moon Crossbody. And quotes it black. I got hot from being in there trying to, like, grab all these bags. Also, guys, if you guys hear my husband and daughter, she's about to get in the bath. My husband's arguing with her. 
and they're very loud so sorry okay this bag i debated for a long time on keeping this is like that camera bag style and it's funny because this is literally i had this for like maybe two years and they're bringing this back out this heritage print this is like popular again but i was like i know i knew i noticed that remember when i found the wallets the other day and i was like how do i have these wallets and can't remember it's because i bought those wallets when i bought this crossbody and i swear i bought this in pink too but i didn't see it in there um and it was dusty blush so this is called the heritage crossbody and this is the licorice licorice with the dusty blush and it has a zipper pull not bling and i have stuff in here i think it's the how many of these freaking wallets did i buy hold on so okay so these are the ones that i bought to match this bag so like all the licorice and i think the ones i found in the last video were the pink ones to go with the pink bag is that where the heck is the pink bag but anyway so this wallet is like one of those and i haven't worn either of these which is funny um and then this is the thicker one that i'm not too much in love with these like thicker ones that has both sides but um i don't know how much these were because i only have the juicy tags on them not the other like the store one but this is just a big camera bag and i do like this style that's why i have a couple behind the door the one i got from the jc penny and then the powder blush one like this is like one of my most used styles when i'm on vacation for some reason i think it's because the squareness um it holds a lot um and it is really big so but not this particular one because as you guys can see i have the tags on it but i have a bunch of camera style bags in like michael kors and i always end up taking those for some reason because they're like brown and they like match everything so but yeah that's this one the next one is just like the juicy backpack and the juicy satchel up there i have the little crossbody which i think i found in a box that i cannot remember oh no i found this by itself and they also came out that year with the silver one like uh or like a silver silver holographic silver color with a sherpa and i was not filling the silver i i found it and i didn't get it and then i didn't think i liked it and then i had fomo after seeing janine i think janine found the silver one i don't know if she found the crossbody or that satchel style but when she sent me a picture i think she was using it and i was like oh, now i want the silver and i never found it again so maybe one day it'll come to me but i did find this i mean i did wear this the tags off this is called the sheer genius crossbody in licorice and it just looks like that and it doesn't have it only has that one pocket that i have right here there's not another pocket on the back side but i like how when they do this it makes me happy because the zipper goes all the way and they put the extra fabric so your things don't like fall out the side so i appreciate that especially when you have a crossbody on you know how sometimes it like flips so and it is like a crossbody strap it's a perfect strap i love this bag i really really do and i feel like it belongs up there with its family but um next i have this one this one was <clears throat> behind my door for so long and for some reason it ended up in my closet it literally was on that door forever i'm 
but this is the macaroon um macaroon dot bag and i like this style i don't have any other juicy bag that's like this it's like a a skinny tote let's see what it's called this is the macaroon logo mini tote crossbody um so a mini tote in macaroon logo macaron macaroon and inside i have the matching uh wallet i'm telling you the macaroon was like my favorite it i think it's it's still one of my favorites like i love this so much so i have the speedy the satchel over there and then i have the handbag the shoulder bag that janine got me and then i have this i have a full-size backpack and then i have another bag i'll show you guys in a second but yeah i really love the um macaron print and then this has a little pocket on the back which you stand up your phone in and it's a deep pocket like you can stick it in there and then it has that little emblem this little thing oh this actually is juicy i think this came with one of the gift sets it's a keychain and it's a pink card and it has a juicy thing i just stuck it on there i should probably take that off and put it with my um bag accessory top drawer that way i can put it on other bags and yeah i don't know how to get this off Oh, there it goes. It's one of those that opens reverse. So, yeah. I'm going to put that in my drawer. And I also have this little coin pouch. I'm not sure if this came with this one or a different bag. And I tucked it in here. Um, but it is the macaron print, macaroon. It's a little coin pouch. And I don't have too many juicy coin pouches. So, I really like that. And it, had, it has its own zipper. And it was hanging. I think it did come with this one. But. So I have that in here. Along with a pad. I find pads in so many of my bags. And. Yeah. So I have that one. Next I have the same print that me and Aria have. Twins. Mommy bags. The chestnut chino with that little dusty blush. And this is a cute little crossbody. Like, it's so simple. I love this, like, pleated, whatever that's called, little look right there. That is cute. And the strap is a shorter strap. I have it on the last one. It, like, just barely fits me. Um, and obviously, you can't take it off or anything. But I love this bag. And I don't know why. Because it's, just, like, nothing to it. It's just plain but i've worn it so many times and i do have a little wallet in here this is just the dusty blush little card holder told you guys i really like this style and i don't have the tag with the name this one but It matches perfect because it's dusty blush and dusty blush. And I don't know oh, where it is. This one is called the Chestnut Chino Crossbody and Flap CC Gift Set. CC card holder? Card? So maybe this came in a box set with this because it says gift set. I know this came in something because I was like debating getting it um because you couldn't really tell how big it was but when i opened it i was like i actually do like it so i won't be getting rid of her and yeah she matches with that mommy and me set too okay now the next one i have debated getting rid of i don't know it looks like the same style as this one and everything's the same about it. 
literally the same. I don't know why I love that one so much, but this one I'm iffy about. But this one's uh, hot pink, and it has fur all around it. And opens exactly the same. Literally identical. But I don't know why this one I'm debating on letting go. I don't have the tag. I have the, you know how they put those like fake credit cards. Like in the slot. I don't know why I always leave those in here too. Um, but yeah, I don't have the tag on this one. But it's literally whatever that bag was called. A crossbody with fur. All right, I gotta go for another round of bags. Okay, so let me first show you guys the new bag that I told you I stuck on my rack that I just bought. So I got this little heritage print um, little shoulder bag. And these came out a while ago. I couldn't find them. Um, me and Erica had found one of these together and um she found it so she got it and we can only find one so <clears throat> i had been on the hunt and recently um one of my friends that i follow on instagram was decluttering her juicy collection on posh and she let this go for 25 dollars, which i feel like this was only one of those 19.99 bags so that was a good price so i snagged it from her for 25 um and like I said, when you're selling out posh, that's a good deal. So, it's just a little um, black and white moment on the inside. No bling on the zipper. And this is the Powder Blush Heritage Shoulder Bag with chocolate. And I used to always think this was red, but it's hot pink. I used to always look at it and be like, I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, the red killed it. Like, why would they do that? I don't know why this um, piece of tissue is so hard. It literally is like a rock. I keep squeezing it. Like, what's in there? I'm throwing that away. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, that's a new one that I added to my little purse rack behind. By the way, the bag of the week that I've been rocking I did show you guys in my haul um but I have my little um leopard there and I always use my claw clips to decorate my bags because I literally wear them all the time so it's that little bag okay next I have this one, I have not used this one yet. I went back and forth, like, am I getting rid of it? So, these I got, like, was it last Christmas time these came out? And I had one of my friends, Ivy, um, sent this to me. And she had sent me those little mini furry totes. And I ended up selling both of them. The pink one and the, I think this is called Free Love, right? This color, yeah. Free love. Oh, so I think that's what this is called. I think this, yeah. So this is a free love, too. Um, and I sold the little mini tote in dusty blush in free love because I don't know they're small and they're like the little handheld totes. And I think she also ended up finding me the little. The other totes that had the bling strip across them that said juicy. I ended up getting rid of both of those. I got rid of all of them. I sold them all um, on Posh because they're just too small. And I think, I'm not sure actually if this one she found or if I found or who found it for me. Um, but it's the only one that survived that last year's collection. Was it last year or was it the year before? I'm not sure. I wish they had dates on these UPCs. Maybe they do and I don't know how to read them. But this is called the Free Love Fluffy Shoulder. And I know they had this in black. I don't know if it came in any other color. But it has this little flap here. 
and it does have a zipper also which i like because flaps sometimes are bleh i don't know why i had this stuffed with pink stuff um probably trying to save it so that i can have some when i need to send the package but that's this bag and it's nice i just i don't know why i haven't used it it is cute it's a nice little size maybe i'll get use out of it this winter with all the other bags that i'm saying are gonna be my winter bags but now that i have somewhere to wear all my bags so and go into the office um i might wear this what an outfit then I have this, which again, pretty sure I had this in like a coral color too. And I don't know where that is. But this is, if you guys remember, one of the black bags I showed you guys. And I said I had a black wallet that had white. And I said it goes to a bag I have. But I was using that bag. This is the bag. Um, This is the little bowler bag. <clears throat> And at first I wasn't in love with this print, but I do like having this extra option for a bigger black bag. So it does come with a thicker strap, which I have tucked in. And it's just a fabric strap, no jelly on it. it has the letters in white. I wish this wasn't white, though. I wish this was all black. Um, I don't know why, but... Um, and then it has this little zipper pull that's actually different from a lot of their bags. It's just a little hard, but it's a cutout part. And I have a receipt in here from Marshalls. So this is called the Fashionista, Fashionista, Fashionista Sports Bowler in black. And I have this, I think, up there in, like, those longer bags that I, like, found in every color. Um, so, yeah. You guys know what? I think I know where the rest of my bags are that I can't find. I forgot I have a drawer down there full of bags. <coughs> I should have showed you guys that when we were on that side, but I'll go back to it. Gosh darn it. I was like, we're almost done. Like, when I went and grabbed this handful, I was like, that's it. But, nope, that's not it. Alright, another backpack. I have this all-furry um, Juicy Couture backpack that has the letters um, in gold. I have the matching card holder to this. That noise inside is uh, backup headband, spa bands. Because I had bought doubles because they were so cute, the cream shop one. And they were so hard to find that when I found them, I was like, I'm getting two. So, those are my backups. <laughs> and, yeah, this one's nice. It's super fluffy. And it has this larger pocket here, too. This is one of my favorites of my backpacks. So, this was for $24.99. And this is blush faux fur fur collection backpack so basic all right the only thing i don't like is that it has black straps like black nylon straps i wish they were pink and i wish they were a better material <clears throat> okay this one i had found a few months ago on clearance and I was debating keeping it. This is from Marshalls. It was on sale for $20. Regularly $29. And this is the Pink Diamond Timeless Hobo. So it's like a shiny puffy material. It has pockets on every side. It's just very large is why I was debating like for a shoulder bag. It's very big. And I was like, I don't know about that. But I think um, someone said that this was actually viral. And they were like, oh my gosh, that was viral at one point. 
I was like, really? And it has this um, little coin pouch in there. It's super stuffed. I was like, anything in here? But no, that's just the stuffing that was in there. And trying to close it back. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. But y'all know what I'm going to say. It kind of looks like a winter bag. I don't know. For some reason, this is giving, like, Bratz dolls. Like, if somebody was going to have on, like, a Bratz doll outfit, I think this will look cute with it. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's not me. It's, I don't know. I really don't know if I'm keeping that one. And then I have this bag that I got at JCPenney. And I had this one on my shelf where the the heart puffer bowler replaced it. But this was there for the longest. Um, this is, it has this little juicy crown. And it has the JCPenney uh, juicy logo. How their logo is different. Uh, the font. <clears throat> and it has this detachable strap, which I like. You can wear it crossbody or shoulder length. But you can detach that. And just wear it by the hands. It has a pocket in the back. The bottom. And. I don't know if I have a tag. Uh -uh. No tag. I was going to say, unless I tucked it inside, I don't remember using this one, but maybe I have. Yeah, so I don't know what this one's called, but it was from one of the JCPenney collections. And I have the matching backpack that's up there, which I'm not going to reach. Um, So it wasn't on top of my packs, but it's in that corner where my clothes are. And it's up there and it's laying down. I don't even know why it's laying down and it's not displayed. But it's literally exactly like this, but in a backpack. And I'm actually thinking of listing the backpack and this as a bundle. Um, so just an FYI, if anybody's interested, let me know before I list it. Um, and even if you don't want the bundle and you're like, oh, I want that or I want the backpack, let me know. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up listing these two. All right. Um, oh. That was on. So this one is an actual OG juicy bag. This is like their um is this the daydreamer? I don't even know. But it has like this super heavy chunky thing on there. I don't even know what it's called, honestly. But this is what she looks like. Juicy couture. It's in like the chocolate color, the bottom, um, the back has the J logo. And this is like the terry cloth uh, material. And I just have it stuffed. So it still has the um, mirror attached to it, the J mirror, and it's just really big on the inside. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the pocket has the, the shop, you know how they say that's how you can tell if it's authentic, if it's a shop on there, but sometimes they're not. So mine's isn't very clean. I do have some, um like staining on the fabric because that was before um i knew to have you know bag little inserts and stuff but and then it has a pocket here on the inside that says hello and it does have like a little pocket there but yeah, this is a vintage bag. It has the Born and the Glamorous 
I'm trying to see. This says 2002 on the tag. The tag that's in here it says 2002. I have a pink one somewhere. And she is dirty. She has like the staining on her fabric. But I don't know if it's in this attic or in my garage attic. But I've had her for a very long time. Like, at least 12 years, I want to say. So, like 2012 maybe. I think Juicy Couture was still around then. Like, the actual stores. Because I got her at, like, an outlet store, I think. I don't remember. But I know I got her at an outlet store. And I don't know how long they've been open. But I wish I could find her. Because I wanted to try some of these techniques I've seen to clean. But I have no idea where it is. Alright, let me look in here and see if there's any more bags. So there was only two, thankfully. Because I was like, this video is probably long. Um, I have this like sling bag this is like a nylon material so um it is just the juicy couture with cherry print it says juicy and cursive it has a little hard zipper right here and it has another zip that goes around and it's just a long um pocket and it has the one strap. Like I said, it's like the ones that you can wear like in the front. It's like a sling bag like that. And you can wear it however you want. That's how I would wear it. So this is called the Cherry Black Multi Nylon Pylon Sling. Nylon Pylon Sling. Yeah. And I think depending what size... If you're right-handed or left-handed, maybe that's why they have the hook here. So you can unhook it there and put it there, I guess, is the reason for that. Whichever side you want to sling it on, I guess. But yeah. I am on the hunt. I cannot find the wallet. I wanted to find a little card holder or something to go with this, but I just cannot find anything to match it. And I know they have like a brown, like the chestnut chino print with cherries, but I'm like, I need the black with the cherries. Um, and then you guys, I forgot about this one. I have this, uh, furry black Speedy. I totally forgot about this bag. Um, I think she had the red on here once upon a time, like that other, uh, leopard one that I have. So I took that off. So I think I, I used this as a Halloween bag with that sparkly boo pocket bag one time. But yeah, it has the long strap that I have tucked away inside. And I'm probably going to cut those off because I don't like when they do this like thin, flimsy strap. So I might cut that off because I would just use this one like that. Oh my gosh, look at the shape in the fur for from it being like that. It was like literally indented in the fur. Good thing it's fur and it just fuzzes out. So it's like a fuzzy. You know what I'm trying to say? And the bottom is like leather. Do I have the tag for this one in here? I am burning up. I don't know why when I start filming it gets so warm. I don't have... Oh yeah, I do. It's in the other pocket. So this one is called the Satchel and Faux Fur Black. The names kill me because it's like, duh, faux fur black satchel. And did I have this fur when we were doing the fur satchels? Did I have the blush one? I feel like I have this in um, another color, but I can't remember what's over there anymore. But I have forgot about this one. I have a pile of purses on the floor and I really don't want to put them back because I'm hot. <clears throat> Wait. Did I do this one? Y'all, I'll be tripping. I didn't even do this one. 
I had to throw them all on the floor. I didn't do this one, right? No. So this is the macaron. 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 How do you guys say it? Macaroon. I think it's macaroon because there's two O's. And raccoon has two O's. So macaroon. Like raccoon. Yeah, there's two O's. Macaroon. So this one has a pocket right here and a pocket in the back. This is like the style that I showed you guys up there that I had the two that I said are a work bag. It's like a long boxy, but this one's actually not as long. It's like a little bit shorter, if that even makes sense. But it has this little nameplate here and this little emblem is just like the handbag that Janine got me. Um, that I had the matching card holder for. So happy about that. So, um, and then on the sides, they have this snap. You can snap it and make it a little bit more sleek or whatever. Or if you need a more wider, you just unsnap it. And then it has the hook here for the crossbody strap. I think I have the crossbody part tucked in here. And then the bottom, this one was... $29.99 at Burlington. So I guess they went down two dollars because those are $27. But the only thing I don't like about this one is the top does not have a full zip. I don't like this little short thing that they used to do. Thankfully, the other ones are a little bit longer, but they're not cool either. But they're not as short as this. Like this is ridiculous. I don't like that at all. So here's that strap that goes in here. Oh, so this is just a Burlington. Where's the juicy tag? I don't know. Oh, it's in here. It's tucked in a front pocket. So this one is called the Macaroon. I, I literally saw it and tucked it in there because I read it when I said, yeah, it has two O's. Macaroon logo statement tote. Y'all, I be tripping. I be tripping. So, yeah. But let me double check my floor because apparently I have forgot. <gasps> I forgot. I was going to show you guys a bag that I got sent since we were doing a bag video. Um, let me double check. So, I showed that one, that one. I literally, like, chucked them out of my closet because I was on the shelf and I they just fell in a crazy order. Um, I think that's all of them. If I have more because honestly, I'm not going to my master bedroom. And I do know I have a couple of backpacks in here. Like I told you guys, um, it's inside of the duffel bag, the matching duffel bag. Um, but I don't know if I have purses in there, but I'm not going to go look. But let me show you guys this real quick. <coughs> so I got sent a bag. Um... I'll put the seller's information in my... Hello? <laughs> Hello? People? <coughs> Not me dropping y'all. Hold on. Now, y'all are all messed up. I'm glad I didn't drop the last sip of my Dr. Pepper because I need it. Okay, so I got sent a bag from a brand and I've worked with them before. So I will link the information in my description along with any links. Or discount codes so it comes packaged with all of your uh, essentials it was in a nice outer packaging 
wrapped very conspicuously um, and everything, but I opened that. And then it does come with the little ribbon if you wanted to tie it into a gift. More receipts. I haven't even opened it. Um, I'm thinking we're going to be doing a pack my bag with her soon because she's pretty. Well, I haven't seen her, but the picture I saw was pretty. I don't know what's the front or the back, but. Speaking of Sherpa, oh my gosh, you guys. This is like the half moon bags. And I got this Sherpa style. And look, it has the, the brown. And it comes with the strap that's brown. She is a pretty, oh my gosh. I like it. And you guys know I have a couple of pair of <coughs> mules, mules that are Sherpa. That's why I like the Sherpa bags. So it comes with the brown strap, but it also comes with just the chain. And just like the um, bags I showed you earlier how I had cut the strap and just wore it with the chain. That's what I'm planning on doing <clears throat> with this one. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is nice. Oh my goodness. This is freaking beautiful. So it has a pocket on the inside. And then it has the like logo on the back. So cute. So cute. I'm obsessed. And I I I don't know. I haven't seen this on like the website. I just when they asked me if they could send me a bag and they told me to pick a bag, I went on there and I looked like through pages and pages because they have so many options, you guys. Like I said, I'll link their uh website below. You don't have to get the same bag I got. You can look at a lot of bags but if you want a very beautiful bag and you can't afford it this is literally just as believable good quality I have so many that I've been sent and I rock them and I love them and no one will know unless you tell them I I on it obviously tell you guys um, but Sometimes at, at other places I go, I ain't got to tell nobody nothing. And I'm like, yes. But yeah, um, like I said, they have so many bags. And not just this brand. They have all of the the brands on there. So, but I highly recommend like theirs. They are one of the sellers that they're true. Like, because you can go to some places and you're like, everybody know that ain't going to be looking like the real like you look at it and you're like that's a fake that's a fake but not with these bags like I literally am always duped myself I'm like what what like I literally had to explain to my husband because he's like you ordered a LV and I'm like no I swear he's like yeah you did no I didn't I literally have to like tell him I'm like would I be having a receipt that looked like that like <laughs> But yes, seriously, you you can't tell. So whatever bag of your choosing, just go on there. Thank me later. The website's down below. A link, um, discount code if if any applies. And I mean these aren't even that cheap. Like this is not gonna be like a twenty five dollar bag on there. Like it's still like two or three hundred, but compared to two or three thousand. And the, the code will help you save, you know, off of that two or three hundred. So basically, but I'd rather pay two or three hundred than two or three thousand for sure. Um, 
But yeah, I just, I think this is gorgeous. Like I said, I look through so many pages because they have so many styles. It's like on like page 40 and I was like, <sighs> you know, like I really wanted something that is me. I'm going to wear and this one screamed. I was like, <gasps> the shape, the half shape, the moon, the Sherpa. The colors for fall and winter. The gold chain. It's just like all all of the above. Check, check, check. Check. So yeah, I think I'm just too much with this. And I can't wait to wear it. So that's why I said we're going to have to do a full dedicated. Pack my bag with her because she is everything. She is the moment. And you can style her with the brown strap too and i probably will depending on the outfit you can wear them together like you don't have to take the chain you can wear the brown strap with it and vice versa you could take the gold chain off if you're not filling the chain and just do the brown strap like the brown strap's really nice too and leave the chain hanging like that you know can you guys see? I'm like so short. I don't want to get up. But yeah, you can wear it as a crossbody. You can wear it over your one shoulder strap, however you want to wear it. But the brown strap's nice too. And like I said, depending on whatever outfit. If I have on like, um, because in the winter I have some like, not knee high, but like above my calves, uh, like leather brown boots. So if I wear those, I would wear the brown strap probably but I'm more than likely 80% of the time going to wear it with the, the chain like that. I can't wait to wear this bag. It's so cute. And I know that's not a juicy bag but it's a bag video collection and it just happened that it fit in. So thank you for sending the bag and I will have the information uh, in the description. And with that being said, we are at the end of today's video because I need to go edit this. My husband literally told me, babe, please don't take all day because I want to spend some time with you because I had to work tomorrow. And he's like, I want to spend some time with you. And by time with me, I'm going to lay in the bed and edit this video while he's next to me. Did you guys peep the details today, by the way? I was giving the juicy vibes. I have the juicy earrings on. I have my juicy necklace on. I say my. Like I only have one. One of my juicy necklaces. I'm wearing one of my favorite juicy bracelets by the way. Because look at all the bling. All the bling. Um, little rose gold bangle. And then I even put one on. On this hand. And I had my juicy shirt on, which I had to change because the first one was tight. And I didn't want to switch my bra. And all the lace details were showing through. And my husband was like, so I put this one on, which is a pajama top. Um, so I have that juicy bracelet on. By the way, sneak peek. Not a sneak peek because I'm not going to show you guys. But I'm going to tell you guys. I think I finally found an organizer for my jewelry so i'm finally gonna get to put my jewelry back up um wednesday's video by the way is going to be a haul because i have bestie mail from janine which i already opened it i'm just gonna have to show you guys on wednesday but i had to open it because like i know that she always sends the goods and i wanted to see i couldn't wait i can't leave it there for like four or five days it's just gonna taunt me so i opened it Y'all, I got another whole Bath and Body Works order. Do y'all remember in the last video when I said, I think I have a coupon and I was going to get a roller perfume with it. And I was like, yeah, 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 I'm going to do that. I had did it. I knew that it sounded familiar. So anyway, that order came in. And when I opened the box, I was like, oh my God, I literally have like 10 more things that I didn't know I had ordered. I think I'm crazy, you guys. So I have Janine's Mail Bath and Body. I have a pretty nice TJ Maxx haul because we went to a different location. Um, 
Sassy K M U A. I think that's the username. Girl, I was up in the new Linux TJ Maxx, and it was popping. Like you said, she was telling me that they have a lot of juicy, and they literally were popping. Um, so I have a nice TJ Maxx haul, and then right next door they had a Ross. So I have some stuff from there too, which. Hopefully some of this stuff makes it to the video because I did find at the TJ Maxx like three pair of work pants and I actually might wear two of them this week. So um, if they fit, I haven't tried them on and I got Aria a lot of stuff in that haul too. So it's not all just for me, but that's it. I mean, it's not a lot. It's just the... Janine, the Bath and Body Works, the TJ Maxx, the Ross. And if by Wednesday I stumble across any anything else, like if I, you know, fall into TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but I'm not planning on it, but just in case I like, you know, you know, you know. All right, guys, I'm going to end this. Y'all know I like the ramble. I love you guys. Thank you for spending Sunday with me. Oh, oh. Look, see, there I go talking. I don't know if you guys noticed because I am pretty far away, but I did pop some eyeliner in my waterline. I was testing it. I was like, let me just see if I could wear eyeliner and it not bother me. And it didn't really irritate. I was like, you know, just walking around the house with it on all day just so I could see. I was like, I'd rather wear it around my house and see how it feels than be out and about and like literally having a panic attack because my eyes are hurting so it it I don't even notice that I had it on and I've put drops in a couple of times today and it didn't like run or ruin it so maybe I can go back to wearing some like eye stuff so we'll see we'll see and an update on my eyes my eye doctor told me how many times did I end this video and then I'm still talking <laughs> I love you guys um my eye doctor told me I no longer have to continue coming in. He told me that it's with my discretion. He said that my eyes are fine. He said that they're going to continue to be dry. I have very dry eyes. I have like, you know how there's very rare cases of stuff. I, there's a lot of people in the world with dry eyes, but I have a very like severe uh, version of dry eyes and due to that he said i will not be able to wear contacts anymore um he said that on occasions like if i'm going to a wedding or a birthday party or i'm taking photography and i want to like not wear my glasses he's like you can wear them like for a day or two but he's like you can't wear them all day he's like it's just going to create more problems um so um i will be making a eye appointment to get some prescription sunglasses because i don't have any um, when I drive, I put my sunglasses literally on top of these. Um, and wearing the double glasses has been hurting my earlobes, like, and my temples. Um, but I don't have, I can't put sunglasses on because then I won't be able to see. Um, so I've been putting them on top. And I know they have the, like, clips or something, but I'd rather just get prescription sunglasses. And I had waited so long because I was like, if I go back to my contacts, then it, it doesn't matter because my contacts are my glasses and I'll just put those back on. But I can't go back to contacts, unfortunately. So, and I don't care. I don't mind wearing glasses, but I do need some prescription sunglasses. So, but yeah, he said um, it's going to be a case by case if I feel like I need to go in. But he said I don't have to keep coming in monthly or bi-weekly to get checkups, he said. Um, on my latest appointment, he said, you still have dry spots in your eyes, lots of them. He's like, you gotta, so basically what I have to do for the rest of my life is constantly lubricate, constantly lubricate. I have to do warm compresses in the morning to help. And then I have to put, um, a prescription drop, drop called Zydra in my eye twice a day. And then I have to use, a uh, ointment um before bed and my eye like a vaseline and then throughout the day literally he wants me to put them in every hour and i told him i was like i'm honest um i have not been doing it because it's hard when you're at work to get up from your desk every hour and not just like 
management or someone being like, where is she always getting up? It's me being deep in work and like not wanting to stop. So I'm like, I don't do it every hour. I do it when I feel my eyes are irritated. I'll go put it in. But I'm supposed to be putting um, drops in my eyes every hour. Basically, uh, it's this stuff. They're in little tubes like this. I buy them and I just am supposed to um, keep putting these in my eyes. This one I actually have to throw away. This is the Refresh Opti Optimi Omega 3. But then I also ha have some called Re Retain M MD or something. They have oil in them. They're like oil base. That one has Omega. But he wants me to use the oil one. Um, and I don't know. It's, it's a lot, but he basically was like, I'm done with you. Don't come back. <laughs> He's like, he said that my corneas are not damaged anymore. I don't know when they fix themselves or what, but he said that I'm fine. So, um, clearly I have irritation sometimes and you guys see me squinting, but he said it's just because it's dry and I need to get with the program and do what I'm supposed to do, but I've been slacking, so... Yeah, that was my little update on my eyes. Um, I can't wear contacts, but I that's why I'm testing the eye makeup. Because I'm like, well, if it's like he doesn't care anymore and I can do what I want, let me just see if it's going to irritate me more. I just thought that me constantly putting eye drops, like what's the point of wearing eye makeup? It's just going to go away. So I know they have waterproof, so I could try that too. But I put them on twice today twice and I said I'm supposed to do it every hour see how bad I am I've applied them twice and nothing happened so anyway I'm about to start choking again because I I'm talking too much and I don't have nothing else to drink so I love you guys and I will see you guys on Wednesday with my whole yeah bye